docks, there was a small, there was a steam engine waiting with a passenger train to take some people home. He was a similar, he was the same class as Thomas with six small wheels, but they were black and he was different from him. He had silver paint, the number zero. He had silver painted the number zero and a black foot plate. He was called Timothy, an old, an old and kind, an old but kind engine, with wrinkles at the end of his face and a broad smile. The passengers climbed on board the coaches, and the guard blew his whistle. And Timothy's driver called out, "Full steam ahead, Timothy!" <laughs> And he puffed away. Well, they keep. Puffing along the line, the rails hummed and the coaches clattered behind him. The moon shone and the stars twinkled as Timothy puffed along. Everyone was having everyone was having a good time inside the coaches and thought nothing could go wrong could go wrong on a splendid night like this. Or so they thought. They were approaching the station where they were going to stop at. Oh. It's time to put on the brakes. But as the driver applied the brakes, it happened. Timothy didn't stop. He just went past the station. Hey, what are you doing? Come back. Hey, what's going on? Driver, what's going on? Hey, why did my train go past? Hey, this what's happening to this world? What are you doing? said the driver. But Timothy didn't answer. He just kept going. He started to go faster and faster. Timothy, what are you doing? You have to stop! The driver called out one again. But Timothy kept speeding. Hey, Timothy, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, whoa! We're going too fast! Then there was trouble. The signalman was asleep, so he didn't realize that the points were switched onto the main line. And the driver saw that they were heading towards the unfinished viaduct. Timothy, no! You'll kill us all! You need to stop! But Timothy just came nearer towards the cliff. The driver and the fireman tried to put on Timothy's brakes, but Timothy kept speeding. The guard tried to put on the brakes too, but they wouldn't work either. The passengers tried to put on the emergency brake as well, but it was no use. But as they came near to the cliff, things got worse. Things got even worse. The driver and fireman didn't hesitate to jump clear, but they watched as their faithful engine pulling the passenger cars fall off the cliff. No one survived the accident. The coaches were smashed into pieces. Timothy, Timothy was, Timothy was smashed. Timothy was also smashed, but he was smashed into parts. The 
people and the guard were killed aboard the coaches. The people and the guard were killed aboard the coaches. But as the viaduct was built, many people, there was rumors that people had saw Timothy's ghost haunting the viaduct. And one engine saw his ghost engine. One night, a small tank engine, a small tank engine was pulling a train across the viaduct. But as he got closer to the viaduct, he heard a whistle that didn't sound familiar to him. As he stopped at the viaduct, he gasped. Right towards him was Timothy's ghost. The engine was so scared that he wanted to back up. His driver saw the ghost engine too. He was so surprised that he set the regulator on reverse. As the engine reversed, Timothy came close to him. Ah, help me! No! As Timothy came closer to the engine, he suddenly disappeared before he could touch his buffers. The engine was so scared that he rattled across the viaduct. And from this day on, he refused says, to cross the viaduct. And every year on the date of his accident, it, he runs again as a warning to others, blowing his deep tone whistle, plunging into the gap, shrieking like a lost soul, and becoming the ghost engine of Sodor.